For the next two days, I'm gonna be stranded alone on one of the world's most deserted islands to see if I can survive catching my own food, building my own shelter, and encountering some of the world's most dangerous animals and landscapes. And this wild adventure all starts right now. It's time for us to disembark and make our way to the island. See you later. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, I nearly just lost my hat. <laughs> All right, we'll make our way to the island. Let's go. Man, I probably should have thrown the backpack first. This thing is literally drowning me. <laughs> we have just touched down on this deserted island right now, guys. We are stuck here for the next few days and we got to survive. I got a few resources in the backpack. Oh, I'm actually gassed, man, from swimming in from that bloody boat. He dropped me a fair way out, but let's pull up. Let's see what we got in the backpack to survive out here on this deserted remote island in the middle of nowhere. This is about as close as you get to your plane crashing, your boat capsizing, and you're pretty much left out here to survive. And that's what we're doing for the next few days. We got no food, we got no shelter, we got a little bit of water in the backpack, and that's it. Out here, there's pretty much nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up camp, we're gonna explore this island for the next few days, catch food, build shelter, and me and you guys, we're just gonna have one wild time, baby. Yeah! Let's set up right here. This looks perfect. We'll drop our spear off right there and let's take a look and see what's inside this bad boy. All right, before we take a look in the backpack, I really need to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go take a pee up in the bushes. Wait one second. I'm back and let me tell you, there's nothing more freeing than getting your freaking shaft out and taking a leak in the bushes. All right, let's take a look in the backpack and see what we got, eh? It is so dark right now. That is because there's some huge rain clouds coming over. But I wanna show you guys what we got in the backpack to survive out here for the next few days. Let's pop her open and take a look, eh? All right, first, very important. We got some water. There's no way to collect water out here, guys. So. Unless I'm bloody drinking seagulls piss, there's no other way to collect liquid, mate. That's for sure. So, next thing we've got is we've got a wetsuit. This is gonna protect me from all the animals out there if we go hunting a little bit later on. Next, we've got a t-shirt. Hopefully, this can be some type of warm if these uh, rain clouds come in and I get absolutely drenched through the night. Mm, I'm not looking forward to that, that's for sure. Anyway, we've got this big old bowie knife. Hopefully, we can use this bad boy to uh, clean up some fish and also probably get bloody tetanus, that's for sure, because she's bloody rusted as all tomorrow. Next, we've got this bad boy. Now this is a lamp, guys. Hopefully throughout the night, we can explore this island and see if there's any type of wild animals out here. I reckon it's gonna be bloody wild and I cannot wait to do it. And finally, we've got our mask right here and our hand spear. That is it guys, that is what we've got out here on this island to survive the next few days. And let me just say guys, it is a special episode right now because it is actually the day before my birthday. And the boys, they're just up the coast right now. They're actually dropping off a birthday present that I get to open tomorrow morning when we wake up on this deserted island. I forgot, we got one more last item. We got this steel and flint and this is gonna be a lifesaver if it starts raining. Guys, there's some huge clouds around us right now. Let's start making our way along the coast. We need to get going on this shelter, guys. Otherwise, we're gonna be getting drenched. All right, you guys can see along this deserted island, there's a high tide watermark, and that's what we're gonna follow. All the currents and everything wash everything up onto this beach, and that is a good opportunity for us to find debris, rubbish, and just vital resources, guys, that we can use to keep us alive out here on this island. There's all these dusty old coconuts, but there's absolute piss all in them, man. Oh my goodness, all right, I think this rain's coming through. I got an idea that we can collect some more fresh water, guys. If we're gonna get pelted on by this rain out here, we may as well start collecting some fresh water. What I'm doing is I'm just using these bottles right here. Holy damn! <laughs> I'm just using these bottles right here. And what I'm gonna do is just place them in the ground like this. Right there, we'll collect some fresh drinking water in this. This will be absolutely perfect. Holy shit! There's a massive storm coming over right now. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, man. Oh, it's raining like crazy. Oh, there's a lot of rain coming over right now. Oh, there's a lot of rain coming over right now. I was not expecting this when we touched down 20 minutes ago. But that's what happens out here. The weather changes so quickly out on these remote islands. All right, it seems like that rain's subsiding a little bit. That was one massive squall that just came over and absolutely ripped into us, man. We still gotta go explore this beach. There's no way that tonight, if that comes over, that I'm getting pelted on like that. I don't even understand how this is possible right now. Take a look at that. It's absolute bluebird, beautiful conditions. 
and then out there it's literally treacherous rain that just pelted on us look at this right here this is sea parcel on now this stuff is actually edible guys it's not too bad it's a little bit salty you want just the ends of it you can see right there got a handful of sand in that bit oh here we go this is what we needed man look at that that's a whole bunch of rope we can definitely use this rope 100 percent that's going in the backpack this is absolutely crazy right now looks like i'm on another planet look at this just this massive stretch of open coastline and no one out here and look at the conditions man it has turned it on that is the storm that just absolutely bashed us you can see this is an old coconut but that storm just absolutely belted us and it collected a whole bit of water inside of there you can actually drink that oh that's perfect drinkable water all right that's gonna keep us going looks like some more bloody coconuts see if there's anything inside this one oh is there a little bit inside of that nah i'm definitely keeping that you guys can see it's pretty dusty this thing but i think there's something inside of that all right he's going in the backpack 100 percent that could be a little treat for later on Now guys, it's actually the day before my birthday right now. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up on this island. It's gonna be my birthday. And let's be honest, where else would I wanna wake up on my birthday than a bloody deserted island out here in the middle of nowhere? Just me and you guys. All right, you guys can see here, look. This is obviously where the turtles come up, laid its eggs right here, and then made its way back down to the beach and then out there in that beautiful ocean. It is actually beautiful through here. It is so lush. There's a whole heap of trees and everything like that. And then we've got these tide pools out here. That could be a good spot for hunting food a little bit later on. I think we can get underwater first, see if we can get something, but there's gotta be some stuff through here we can use 100%. Look at this. We got some bloke's shoe that he's left out here. Well, he hasn't left it out here. He must've lost it and it's floated out here. The things you find, man. Alrighty guys, I'm making the call. We're turning around. We're leaving that open stretch of coastline and we're heading back to camp. Right now, what we have is we've got the coconut that's gonna keep us hydrated. We've also got that rope to bind some type of structure. But guys, we need to get started on a shelter and then we need to go fishing of some sort. There's no way I'm going hungry out on this island. It is not happening. Check out these giant logs that wash up on this beach, man. This is wild. Woo! It's so sick. Later on, if we can't find any type of, I guess, structure, or bed set up, we can probably use this giant log as some type of foundation for a structure. Everything is super wet out here right now, but I need to find some type of kindling. I know exactly what I need. You guys can see right here, you see these tucked away? These little fur balls, that's what they look like, big old fur balls. This is what we need right here, guys. You can see they are super light and fibrous. All right, I'm gonna collect a whole bunch of these. We'll chuck them in the backpack. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm sweating like a bloody dog in a Chinese restaurant right now, walking along this island. It is scorching hot. I don't know how it went from bloody torrential rain half an hour ago to absolutely scorching hot sun, but we do have these offshore towels hats and they're the only thing that's keeping me protected. Go grab one for yourself, offshoretowels.com. This is actually the waterproof one and we got heaps of other cool stuff. Support the channel, support me and become part of the Offshore Towels family. I love you all. Does it get any better than this right now? Look at that, we got turquoise water. We got like white pink sand and it's just me and you guys out here on this deserted island for the next few days. Yee -hee -hee! It's like when I'm out here guys, I'm collecting Pokemons, except it's just like survival items. We're collecting rubbish, we're collecting wood, we're collecting whatever we need to stay alive. And uh, let's just say, we haven't found the Charizard yet. I don't know if there's any woman on the island. Yeah, I don't think there is. All right, we're not collecting a Charizard. All right, we're just about back at camp. Let's go. <laughs> Imagine some mermaid just came out of the water and just wanted to stay with me on this island. Be good fun, eh? Yeah, keep dreaming, Wade. About one minute ago, I said I was sweating like a bloody dog in a Chinese restaurant, but there's nothing left in this bad boy. Thought I was gonna find some bloody deodorant. Anyway, make sure you guys stick around because tonight we're gonna go exploring the tide pools and look for some hell weird animals. And also it's my birthday tomorrow and we got some wicked surprise that's happening. The boys have dropped it up the coastline and it is gonna be sick. Oh, I've just found an absolute treasure out here. Look at this guys. This is a Nautilus shell, look at that. This one's been banged up a little bit, but you can see, look how shiny and beautiful it is. It's literally just glowing. All right, let's go give her a quick wash off and see what the colors like, look like. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors on that Nautilus, man. 
That is like nature's treasure right there. Look at it. It is glowing. All right, we're taking that up to camp. That's our good luck charm. Hopefully it's gonna bring us some animals later on when we go hunting. All right, I've decided to make the call, guys. We have trekked down the coastline and we are back at the log that we found a little bit earlier on. This is gonna help us to build some type of structure. As you guys can see, it's already a natural foundation and we can use this and it's pretty much gonna allow us to build a shelter a lot quicker than if we had to collect random bits of wood on the beach. Got this big structure right here and I'm actually gonna use this big piece of wood. Now what I've collected is this big old cross beam right here, you guys can see. And this piece of wood, it is super heavy. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually gonna get underneath this piece of wood. There's nothing better than a deep hole. She's good to go. That's the foundation right there. Put this piece of wood right here, just so I can fill it in. I've just gone and grabbed this big old log right here. We're gonna actually use this for foundations of this to make sure it's super solid. So hopefully we can get rid of that one just about. You can see it's still pretty wobbly. Maybe I'll hold it up with my head. And we'll chop this thing down and we'll wedge it in. Just like so. She ain't going anywhere, this thing. All right, you guys can see right now, we have pretty much leveraged this piece of wood in. One side, we got this big old log. On the other side, we've got this other piece which is uh, in there super solid. There's no way that that is falling over during the middle of the night. It's not happening. All right, now what we need to do is we need to get long pieces of wood and start creating this teepee. It's coming in handy. You can see we're starting to build out this teepee right here. It's gonna be sick. And we got bloody beach views, that's for sure. I just wanna fill it in a little bit more with some big piece of wood. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up to the bushes and see if we can weatherproof this and make it just about dry in case another one of those storms come through. All right, you guys can see right now, I've just gone and grabbed this stick right here. And this is actually super useful guys, because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like tuck it into our structure. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna create heaps of little branches so that when we put leaves and everything on, it's just gonna stick to it. And I guess create some type of waterproof system. I've just gone and grabbed all this rope that we collected a little bit earlier on. We're gonna, actually gonna use these bits to bind up this structure. I'm just gonna wrap it just around just like so and make sure that this is super solid. Uh, you go one, I'm gonna go two. And you can see, that ain't going anywhere. All right, I'm just taking all the goodies out of the backpack. You can see, we got our kindling right here. We got our coconut. This is what we want. The big old Bowie knife, you guys can see right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually weatherproof our shelter right now. Let's go up into the bushes. This looks pretty good up here. Let's collect a whole bunch of these. Collected a whole bunch of this. Let's take her back over. What I want to do is just fill in all of this shelter. Fill it in as much as possible. We're starting to make this, I guess, a little bit more weatherproof, even creating more shade. Look guys, it's going to be hard to make this completely weatherproof, but anyway, it's going to keep us out of that sun tomorrow, 100%, and that is going to be a game changer. Alrighty, it's the moment of truth, guys. We got our shelter right here. Let's check her out. Woo hoo hoo! Oh man, that is so sick. You're kidding me. That is so epic. And look at our view right now. We literally have the sickest view. This is where we're sleeping for the night, baby. <laughs> this is gonna be so wicked. I fully forgot there's one last thing we need to do. And that is put our Nautilus on top of our shelter right there. It's the offshore tail structure, baby. Yeah, this is so sick. All right, I'm gonna gear up guys and I'm gonna get ready to go for a hunt. We need to get food. There's no way I'm going hungry on this island. And we probably only got about two hours left to light. So we're racing against the clock, that's for sure. It has been a bloody mission, man, setting up camp, getting all the supplies. But we are just about ready to get out into that water and go for our first hunt. We don't have much light left, guys. It's time to get out there, see if we can get some food on a hand spear. Let's go.
no, I just hit a rock. My goodness guys, I do not know what was going on out there. I was playing up like a barley watch. I think it's because I haven't used the hand spear for quite a while, but look at the thing, man. You guys saw me, I was hitting rocks, I was hitting air. The only thing I wasn't hitting was fish, man. That is the only thing I wasn't hitting. Everything else, I was smacking. Guys, right now, we literally have no food. But the thing is, we're out here on this island for the next few days. So one day without food, we should be all right. As long as we can get food either tonight or tomorrow morning, we should be all right. Flashback to me a few hours ago saying there's no way I'm going to bed without food. Looks like we're going to bed without food for day number one. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, yes, we got no food, but how can I be angry? How can I be depressed? Look at this right now. It's my last day before I turn 26 tomorrow. We're so close to 1 million. I love you all. And who cares, man? Who cares if I got bloody empty stomach? Stomach cramps, sleeping on the beach, no blanket, sleeping in the sand. No, who cares? It's what we live for out here on Offshore Tales, baby. That hunt may have been unsuccessful, but we got this bad boy that we found on the beach today. So I'm gonna pop him open, and I guess we're gonna be living off coconuts for the first day. I'm all right with it. All right, you guys can see I've peeled back all the skin. We got our coconut right here. Pop her open. It's good. She's good. Woohoo! These ones here, guys, that have been out in the ocean, they're actually better more so for their meat. And that's what we want right there. Alrighty, guys, you can see we're losing light. We've only got a little bit on the horizon and we have absolutely no food for dinner tonight, except for that coconut that we collected a little bit earlier. But what we're gonna do is we're still getting the fire cooking because what's gonna happen is it's gonna keep away all the mosquitoes and all the animals. And hopefully I'm not sleeping with a bunch of sea snakes tonight. So let's get it sparked up. You guys can see this is all that super light stuff that we collected this morning from the backpack. And we've got our steel and flint, let's spark her up. Just wanna get some small stuff on right now. You guys can see, it's gonna slowly let that burn away. That is what we want, baby. Yes! <laughs> you guys can see it's smoking up a whole bunch and that's because of all that rain that we had a little bit earlier on. But that's gonna be all right because that's gonna get rid of all the mosquitoes, hopefully. There's something just absolutely incredible about a simple fire. Yeah, we got no food right now, guys, except for this coconut. But we're out on this island, the fire's cooking away. What else do you want? We've got our shelter back here. This is what we live for, man. This thing is cooking now. Woo! We're gonna give it a few more hours. We're gonna wait for that tide to drain out a bit. And then we're gonna start looking through the tide pools and see if we can get some type of animal. We've already got a fire going, so we just need to get it on. Oh, this thing's cooking me. What we're looking for out here is just any animal that's exploring through the night. We've got a bit of a high tide right now, so I don't think we're gonna be able to explore the tide pools, but we should be able to explore, I guess, the shoreline. See what animals have washed up or nesting or who knows what we're gonna find. All right, guys, we've just found the cutest little crab. Look at him here, look at him. I'm gonna call him Sebastian. Look at him. He's that cool, man. He's beautiful, he's trying to nip me. All right, I think he wants to get on his way. Oh my goodness, guys, take a look at this right here. This is what we call a banded sea snake. And this is one of the most deadliest animals in the world. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I actually think that this animal has more venom than any other snake in the world. And I think it's actually a myth that it can only bite you between your fingers or your toes. This animal right here, if we get attacked by this or bitten, it's the end of us. There's no way we're making it home. So what he's probably doing right now is making his way up onto the beach here, maybe to lay his eggs. Now, if you have a look at his tail right here, you guys can see it's almost shaped like a fin and that allows, to, allows it to propel itself through the water. They come and they breathe up and then they actually dive down and they hunt between all the coral and everything like that. 
And it's actually quite rare to see one up in the sand this high up. We're probably about 200 meters, maybe 100 meters from the shoreline. But this is one wild animal, that's for sure. He's just making his way underneath this log. He's probably searching for some type of prey or animals. We don't know exactly. There we go, he's just stopped. He's just sensed me. Look at him. Oh yeah, he knows I'm here now. He knows I'm here. He's pretty much telling me to get back. We're gonna keep our distance because out here, if we get attacked by this guy and we get bitten, we're done, 100%. Alrighty guys, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually super scary. I'm literally sleeping on the sand. I'm not even off the sand. And we just found the most venomous snake in the world. Well, I think it is. Let's just hope I don't roll onto one of those things during the middle of the night. That is not gonna be good. All right, you guys can see we got the fire cooking away right there. We got the shelter and we're getting ready for the night ahead. I got my Offshore Tales t-shirt on right now. And what we're doing is we're just making it till tomorrow morning. It is my birthday tomorrow and I cannot believe that we're going to bed without food the day before my birthday. Ah, anyway, tomorrow we're getting food 100%. And also, we got a little bit of a surprise that the boys left up the coastline that we're gonna get in the morning. Sands is a deceiving thing. It always feels like super comfortable when you first lay on it. But then like three hours into the night, it just gets super uncomfortable. And your freaking spine feels like an origami. But anyway, we're just gonna make it till tomorrow morning. It's my birthday, baby. Yee <laughs> Good morning to you guys. We got first light right now. Take a look at this. Oh, I got sand all in my ear, man, from last night, but we're going well. You guys can see the sun is rising over the horizon right there. The fire, she's just about burnt out, but we have made it, guys, and uh, happy birthday, I guess, eh? <laughs> it's my birthday today, guys, and uh, We've woken up to some epic conditions on this island. <laughs> Where else would you want to wake up on your birthday, baby? Yee! Alrighty, we're gonna go for a little morning swim on the birthday, 100%. Let's get out there. We gotta get all the sand off us. Let's go. I'm so grateful to be on this beach right now, guys. And I'm just having thoughts of last year and really where I was and I was, to be honest with you guys, in a really, really dark place last year on my birthday. I'd just broken up with my girlfriend at the time. I was going through a whole heap of mental health issues. I was unhealthy and I just wasn't myself. And I just want you guys to know that sometimes the most beautiful things come from the darkest moments in our life. And it goes to show a year of pretty much living over here in isolation, traveling, creating for you guys not giving up on my dream of becoming i guess a youtuber and growing this community and we're so close to one million i think last year i was on about maybe four thousand and it just goes to show guys that all of us we go through these hard moments but often the most beautiful things come out of it and to keep your head up keep marching forward don't give up because you do not know what's on the horizon I know a lot of you guys out there probably going through your own struggles, whether it's mental health, physical health, whatever it may be, but just know that sometimes you can't see the road that God is taking you on, but it's actually gonna lead you to the most beautiful place in your life. And uh, for that, I'm thankful. But that's enough of all the sad stuff. We need to go open my present because the boys dropped it along the beach. And it's birthday, baby! Let's go! All right, let's go for the present. Let's go. We are punching down the coastline right now because the boys have actually dropped off my present yesterday on the southern end of this island. That's where we need to make our way to. But it's just got me thinking about what would be my dream meal today on my birthday. And last year's going to be pretty hard to top, man. I'm going to show you what we got last year and then see if we can top it this year. Check out this. Woo. Today is my birthday and we are out here just having the most wicked day today we're going to do all the fun stuff and uh yeah we're just going to have a mental day we're going to camp tonight hopefully we can catch some fish or crayfish or something today check out this bad boy Woo -hoo -hoo. 
This thing is a bloody giant, man. You guys know what's happening right now. We got the giant lobster. We got the beer. The cray gun is happening on the birthday. Yeah! No, oh, beer just exploded! <laughs> Alrighty, I think I found where the boys dropped off our present. Look at this. This is their footsteps, you can see. And then that's it going back down to the water. They said X marks the spot. And take a look at this. Unless I'm bloody blind, that looks like a big X to me. So, I think this is our present right here. Look, we don't have wrapping paper out here on deserted islands, but we got sand and that's what the boys had to work with. So, they just buried it. So let's unbury this. Look at this, it's exciting. It's my birthday. <laughs> oh, look at this, man. Oh. Oh my goodness, bro. We got a brand new spear gun. Look at this. A 1.2 meter absolute weapon right here. You guys know I've been well overdue for a new spear gun. So this bad boy, this is going to come in handy. Check out the print on the thing. It is an absolute beauty. Yeah, she's a little bit sandy, but that's just the way we like it, man. On offshore towels, everything out here gets sandy and salty. We're actually going to be putting this girl to the test this morning, guys. As you know, we haven't eaten anything for the last 24 hours. Hopefully this is our savior right now and we can go out and get something wicked. There's no way I'm bloody leaving this island without catching any food. That's not happening for sure. Let's get out there. Let's go to war, baby. We need to get food. Is there anything better than waking up on your birthday to brand new spear guns? Like, come on. All right, take a look at this right now, guys. You can see, this is a sea snake trail. You can see, this is where the sea snake has come up. And that's where the boys actually dropped off my spear gun. So that sea snake must have been sussing out how sexy my gun was last night. I'm just happy she buddy didn't take it. She probably wanted to make love to the thing, to be honest. It's that beautiful. That weather has cleared up, which means that that water is gonna be super clear. That sun is gonna be piercing. I right, can we get out there right now. It's probably about 6.30, 7 in the morning. I'm so hungry and energy levels. Well, they're plummeting quick. Alrighty, guys, it's time to go hunting. We're swimming straight off this island and we're getting into some food. Let's go. Woo! Thank <laughs> you. 
guys, we have done it, man, on this deserted island. We may have had no fish yesterday, but let me tell you, today, we have bloody cleaned up, that's for sure. All right, let me tell you guys what we got. First of all, we got this one right here. I didn't even mean to shoot this fish, guys. You saw, we got a two for one special. This is the one I was actually aiming for, and this is what we call a unicorn surgeon fish. And that's because they've got these big blades on the back of their tail there. And you guys have seen, I've been sliced up by those in the past. And it just so happened that I hit this one on accident. So what I'm thinking is I might actually give this one to the captain of the boat when he picks us up a little bit later on. Also guys, I got this one right here. I only ever see them over here in Indonesia. I don't know what they are. They kind of look like a, like a bass, almost like barramundi kind of mix but they look absolutely incredible. I've never shot one before, I've never eaten one before, but these fish right here, guys, we're getting a fire going, and we're getting these on the cook, because I'm bloody starving. It's been over 24 hours since I've eaten last, so let's get this cooking, eh? All right, you guys can see our fire's pretty much gone out since last night, but what I've done is I've collected a little bit more kindling. I'm gonna see if I can reignite it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this kindling down and blow on it, and that ember should hopefully just make contact with this kindling and we can get a fire going. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got it cooking, baby. Woo. All right, you guys can see we've got our two beautiful fish right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rip the guts out of them quickly and that's gonna be the way we're gonna cook it. Make my way through the anal hole and all the way towards the head. You can see I'm just splitting it. All right, you guys can see that's the guts right there. I'm gonna get my hands straight in there. I'm gonna pull all of that out. We don't want any of it. All right, you guys can see there's the gills. We don't want them. And inside of that fish, she's nice and clean. We just need to give her a wash out. We'll do the same for this big boy, and then we'll get him straight over the fire, all right? Man, you guys don't even understand when I say these fish, they are literally full of crap, but they taste absolutely incredible. So, go give them a big old wash out, and we'll get these straight over the fire. Let's go. Our fish are clean and ready for the fire, baby. Look at that. Oh no, I just dropped him in the sand. Go wash him off again. I've just gone and grabbed this green stick right here. And the reason for that is it's not gonna burn. I'm gonna grab one of our fish right here. I'm just gonna feed it straight through its mouth and then along its body out here. We got one fish right there. He's ready to go straight over the grill. Go for the big dog. These are ready to go straight over the fire. We got the fire absolutely cooking right now, guys. What I'm gonna do is just feed the stick straight into the sand, just like so get those cooking away just like that. This is just another one of the reasons why building this shelter was a great idea. We're getting out of that sun. It is absolutely ringing out there. It's ridiculous. So, whew, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chill up in here while that fish cooks away. She's just sitting perfect over the fire. Hopefully we can rip the skin off that bad boy and get some meat in us. I haven't eaten for like 30 hours, so I'm starving right now. All right, I think she's just about done. Let's take her over. You guys can see this is the surgeon fish. Oh, she's hot. And then we got this cod right here. She looks charcoal, but she's not. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the skin off this surgeon fish, see what she looks like underneath. You literally just peel the skin off this fish. Whoa. Alrighty guys, it is so hot out there, my eyes were literally burning. So what I've done is I've dragged our fish up into our shelter and we're gonna give her a shot. Look at this beautiful white meat coming straight off the surgeon fish. Look at that. All right, let's get that down. Oh, that is incredible. I haven't eaten for over 30 hours, guys, so that meat right there, look at it. Just falling apart. I'm gonna give that a solid nine out of 10. They are one of the best fish over the fire. They're like a staple diet out here for us. Now we're gonna rip into this bad boy. Look at him, he's still in shock that he got shot. I've never eaten one of these before, guys, so I got no idea what to expect, but meat looks pretty good underneath here, I'm not gonna lie. That is incredible. Get it down. I think this one's taken the win 100%. After 30 hours of no eating, this is one of the best fish I think I've ever eaten in my life. I don't know if I'm just saying that because I'm so hungry, but it is incredible. All right, I think I've spotted someone on the horizon. You guys can see there's a boat out there, and I think that's our ticket off the island. The local Indonesian fishermen have picked us up. I've given them a little fish in exchange, and we are making our way off the island. This has been one wild adventure. I've loved having you guys. Please show your support. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Offshore Tales gear available. Offshoretales.com. Get yours right now. And I'll see you on the next wild adventure. Cheehoo!